drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel... compassion. Compassion? Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. of flesh is begging to be pruned, and its sap sucked from. Mistress eyelids, stop! Cease, you lose! Keep 
pulling. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent! A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. You think it's dangerous? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. Observe, listen. Enough talking. You'll hear Get goblins before you. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. A hatchery. A training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. 
When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh! I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You'll talk. I can... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things... somewhat. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? No. Of that much we can be certain. These... Worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. As he leaves, you're flooded with visions of a perfect, pretty corpse. Astarian's an interesting find. Let's hope any future acquaintances don't hold a blade to your throat by way of introduction. I understand why you ask, but... Memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. You have a manner of... Irresistible desperation about you. I like it. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. The imperious elf's got the red eyes and pale skin of a white. 
And I'm not convinced he's any more trustworthy. Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another factor's in play. Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. There's no shame in a capricious murder now and again. Too many, though. And you waste energy and dull your weapon. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much... Well, I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. Another joins our merry band. We'll need to keep our wits sharp around him, I think. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. For a split second, you see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defenses drop like a portcullis. Out! That was... uncalled for. Not an eventuality I'm entirely unfamiliar with. Nevertheless, please don't try that again unless I invite you to. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bought the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. It's a first edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about, so long as they remain fantasies. monster forms inside us, and you think to be idle. I knew your kind to be fragile, but I didn't foresee the severity. Be quick about your rest. We must locate a crash. A thick-headed notion in a complex circumstance. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. Go to hell. You're a good sport. Go to hell. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. But we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. Point well made. 
I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. What were you two talking about? You and that Gith Yankee. I see. I'd be careful with Lazel. So am I. If we're to survive, we need to trust each other. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we focus on that. Caution is a luxury we don't have. Let's rest and wake up at first light. Do you mind? I'm brooding. As you writhe with sickly dreams, a deep dread floods you. Though you have a tadpole, you know your broken mind is not like the others who bear the worm. A few scraps of the past come back to you now and then. But you can never quite tell where the knowledge comes from. Inexplicable, violent yearnings overwhelm all other thoughts. Who could you possibly be to be their vessel? must have been. What could have happened to make you forget? As you fall asleep, you are a shivering and shaking mess. Blood. 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 